everyone and welcome in Inspiration, Coaching and Motivation TV channel in Barry's Ministries here in Texas. I'm Jacqueline Baributsa, life coach and author. I will have a few minutes with you and sharing with you what I received today in my heart. I wake up early in the morning today and then I start to pray. And when we say to pray, meaning I start to talk to God in my prayer, in our conversation, in our meeting. So, and then I was asking, I was asking God what I have to share with you today. I received in my something came in my soul and then I uh, I received this message and then I would like to take to to let you um, I mean like to receive it as a prophetic message for you so it was about uh, to experience the real joy so today we'll be talking about four things a b c d so number a will say experience the real joy or take back your joy or also do not let anybody or any circumstances take your joy. So take it, keep it, and do not let anybody uh, take it out and also experience the real joy. So number B, we will be talking about uh, why some people, even Christians, even all of us, sometimes we can find ourselves without joy. Like meaning you can be someone, usually you have a joy, but you can find yourself in the time you don't have joy, meaning you lose your, jo your, your joy. But for some people, other people, it's like their nature. They don't have a, like every day they cannot experience joy so there is a reason there is a there is a so we talk about uh, some of those reasons in few, in few minutes and uh, and number c we be we will be uh, we go in the bible in nehemiah 8 uh, verse 10 we will see that the ezra is uh, telling the people and say the the joy of the lord is our strength our strength and then how can we understand that the joy of the lord that is joy how that joy become our strength so and the finally we will see what's the meaning simply what the meaning of joy may the lord bless you and i pray that the holy spirit will touch you and open your heart and let you see until the end and receive something because when we stand and we give you something i used to tell you that uh, we seek the face of god and then we receive something and then we came to share with you if you obey and you receive it uh, so you will experience what the Holy Spirit can do as in your heart, in your life, and then you will experience things, and then that will help you maybe to grow for sure, because the experience in spiritual area help us to grow and even to, to discover a lot of things, and also that let uh, help us um, to be to be more mature, but also more happy because of we it's through him in him that we get everything let me tell you the world cannot give us anything it's cannot about it's not the wealth it's not even your job it's not your marriage it's not your children it's not it's not your beauty it's not your strength it, that can give you what really you need all we need is in our Lord. Yes, I declare it and I confess it. It's in our Lord. That's the reason um, the more you have time with him, the more you obey him, the more you seek his face, everything we need, we will get it in the name of Jesus. When I say everything, I mean uh, the, our really happiness, uh, our peace can just be found through him and in, in him. So we are saying in point B, uh, A, experience the really joy take back your joy and do not let anything and anybody take your joy amen so here we say in number b we say what cause that people why some people or why all of us even christian before we was thinking that christian no, they, they they cannot they have they have to have all the time the joy yeah we should have like that because the bible said that rejoice in the lord i repeat rejoice in the lord but this is the cause some causes uh, uh like uh push people to or maybe prevent joy to people it's uh, the feelings of depression 
when you are depressed, you can lose your joy. But also it can be when you are hopeless, you can lose also your joy. Not only that, when you experience negative circumstances and uh, painful circumstances, you can lose your job. That the reason this kind of message is coming to, to you to tell you, even all those costs I'm, exp I'm explaining, I'm saying, even if we have to pass through that, I used to, I like to say that uh, all those pain and things and circumstance, negative circumstances and situation and uh, that the things help us to grow, to be better, to be strong and to be mature and also to give us testimony. We can come and stand and share with other people to help them because ourselves, we already experience pain. We already experience uh, like a feeling of de depression and the negative circumstances and painful circumstances. So that's the reason this message is giving to you to say, even if you experience that, uh, just take all those things and bring it to the feet of our Lord. He's the one who can give you and me the real joy. So, and how we see in the Bible, Nehemiah 8 verse 10, it said that uh, the joy of the Lord is, is my strength. Um, but how that can be possible? How that can be possible? Because we don't want to be that kind of Christian. We just do slogan and we say things, just a word like that. And no, we say the Lord, the, the Bible say here, his joy is, is our strength. For that, we have to be that kind of people or person or Christian. When we, we, we are experience all those pain, we don't have to wear it. We don't have to live with it. We don't have to dwell with it. We have to take it and to bring it to him and say that I, uh, my hope is in you. My, yes, my hope is in you. And I know my faith is in you. My confidence is in you. And I can't take this. That the reason because you are my father, you are my God, you are my creator, you are my savior. I come and bring you everything I put it on and I abandon it into you. And when we do like that, and also when we decided to obey his word, what he gives to us, what he asks us to do, when we, we, we practice the obedience, he will take the mantle of his mantle of joy. And he will give to us, he, we will wear his mantle, the joy, the, his mantle of joy. And that mantle give us uh, his strength. And that the reason you will see that uh, some people in the, uh, in the Lord, even if they experience uh, tough things and, and uh, hard things, you will just still see them with uh, happiness, strength, and um, continue their life uh, like uh, nothing happened, even if uh, they cry. We cry. I, I cry. Um, in the past, I experienced things. I cry. But you cry and uh, you just uh, um, dry your, 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 your eyes and your, your tears and you continue because, because this life... God is in us and the, the Lord who is in us, he's the one who help us always and in everything. And we know that our hope come from him, our joy come from him, our strength come from, from him. And then we, say, we see here that when you have a joy, what's the meaning of joy? That is point D. The joy is just an agreeable emotion, a deep and agreeable emotion emotion, the feelings, that is even difficult to explain it. And then we, when you have a truly and sincere uh, joy in you, that will just overflow from uh, your, in your face, in your action, your attitude, your, your saying. And uh, when you are really, really in joy, we have a joy. Joy is associated with strength. strength. And you will see when you are full of joy, you are able to have like a, a new energy, a new uh, even physical uh, uh, strength. And, and you, can, uh, you, can, you can go forward in your life and you, can, uh, you, you will be also have a strength emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically. You will be strong because it's like a source of something in you, that joy. And from God who give us strength. We say the Lord, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And that's why you will see that, uh, that uh, people who love God, really, really love God, really, really, uh, who, who go and draw their, their, uh, I mean, their peace and joy from the Lord, 
and you will see that they're strong. They're strong. They are. They are. They are able to go and to run away. I mean, like to go far in their life because of uh, that joy and the strength in their in their in their heart in their life. May the Lord bless you. It was uh, inspiration coaching.